What's up guys, Magic Knives here. Now, I, I automatically you might have clicked thinking this was a Ghost Recon Wildlands gameplay. It's not. This is just a gameplay commentary for, of me talking about Ghost Recon Wildlands and just random topics that I want to share with you guys and girls if you are so interested to to listen and leave your feedback down below in the comments. Um, but anyways, this is some um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay. I go pretty beast on this, and I don't even remember the the ending uh, score that I get, but uh, beast nonetheless. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background. Um, so a uh, couple things to mention in this commentary. First one I want to talk about: Ghost Recon Wildlands. There's a lot of hype for this game, and um, a lot of excitement and just um, intrigue with it. And you know with with everything that's been happening lately i haven't been that tuned in with the the gaming world lately um just because i've been w busy with a lot of things but um it was just a couple weeks back i mean i did actually remember now that i did see the sort of um e3 reveal trailer of uh ghost recon wildlands like months back <clears throat> and then i just got busy with things and I kind of just forgot about it, you know, and then finally when I saw a trailer for the open beta gameplay, it, it hit me and I was like, oh shoot, there's a lot of hype for this game and a lot of um, interest within the gaming community. So, you know, I got to, uh, on the very last day of the beta, of the open beta, I just was able to download it and just play it the night of uh, the last day of the open beta. And um, just kind of test it out. Um, unfortunately, uh, just because of the way my laptop w was set up that day, I was not able to get any op open uh, beta footage. But no worries. Um, the day I'm recording this right now is like the day before the initial launch date. So I'm I'm going to see how I'm gonna if I'm gonna be posting any of that. Um, any content of Ghost Recon Wildlands on my channel um, for you guys and girls to see. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some kind of footage of that. I'll see what I can do to try to make it unique. And at the same time, it it also gives me something to uh, post in the meantime because Call of Duty is just gone to shit right now. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Um, with Infinite Warfare and even Modern Warfare Remastered and stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it was... Nice to kind of at least um, play Modern Warfare, the initial Modern Warfare that I didn't play at the time, but it's just kind of dry at this point for me. So in, uh, now that I've been posting Airsoft um, footage on my channel, um, check my recent videos out if you haven't already. But uh, now it's just giving, me, allowing me to have a dual content for this channel, which is kind of good. Airsoft and uh, video game footage together kind of has gives you um, uh, kind of the best of both worlds I guess with um, video gaming and um, like real life videos with airsoft you know so and anyways the second half of this of this commentary I want to talk about is the stigma of guns alright and um, this is especially a problem for me as an airsofter and just like I just in general like whenever whenever people hear the word guns everyone freaks out and it's kind of it's really sad that way to be honest with you and it's just simply because that you know the society we live in now has created such a gun fear fearful society and whenever I have wanted to recommend um, ideas for people or activities maybe I wanted to take them to a gun range or um, maybe take them airsofting or just many loads of issues have arise because of the increase of gun violence and uh, like ridiculous uh, gun 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 banning and like like and stuff like this. Uh, you it's very hard to like you, when it comes to, like, if you're trying to bring an airsoft gun into the airport. It's it's kind of a dangerous thing to do now. I know there's tutorials on YouTube to tell you how to get through customs and safely and properly but in the end you're still gonna have a lot of issues in terms of the security um, uh, like being really hard on you and 
the fact that I live in Canada as well, it's it's actually it's t more than twice as difficult to um, try to transport guns through the airport in Canada. Um, there's a, there is a good risk that if you try to fly out of Canada to play um, airsoft um, internationally, you might not even be able to bring your guns back into Canada. Um, which I mean, I'm not an expert on this. Don't quote me. It's just um, I've talked with with airsoft stores and that's what they've told me to sp and you know it's like I mean if I if I did want to play internationally um, airsoft it, it might not be possible for me um, the other thing too is just simply the word gun f um, freaks people out and you know an example of that was at my at my placement I wanted to uh, implement an idea for people for the for the placement to have a new fun activity and I simply gave an idea of nerf gun shooting and nerf as you know is like the safest version of guns that we have out there and simply because of the word gun they they did declined me the opportunity to try that and this isn't just happened to me there was one one uh, YouTube uh, a youtuber who does gun shooting she does like trick shot gun shooting I forget her name at the moment but she got offered a chance to be on America's Got Talent but they declined her for the fact that she was using guns and even when she begged and like stuff like that and tried to make accommodations they declined her her request to do her gun shooting as a talent for the for AGT and that was really sad um just simply because of the fact that it was a gun if we want to reduce the gun problem we have to create create a gun educated society not a gun fearful society and that's my sort of um, opinion on the whole stigma of guns let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below let me know if you're excited for ghost recon wildlands and hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay hope to see you guys in my future videos till next time peace